As you can see, we're getting ready to install windows today. This is exciting. I can't wait to get our new windows in and see how they look. I just cut the last two openings that was left to cut. And wow, what a dramatic difference that makes. You can just see straight through the whole house here. A little bit scary, but it's gonna be cool. I'm getting ready for flashing tape. We're gonna be putting the uh, tape around the opening. I'm gonna be doing it a little different than usual. I'm gonna be taping before the window and after the window goes in. Boy, I'm not sure what to do here. Let's just, let's just break it. Don't take this as the how-to. We try not to do how-to videos, just, just how we're doing it. And this is just extra precaution and to help air seal the OSB, which is prone to water damage from condensation. I mean, you're right, on the porch it should never be a problem. So now we're gonna be installing some sill pans, which is also new to us, but it's something that we have to do with our windows. So the sill pan is just this piece of plastic. You overlap it. It protects the sill from moisture that might get in. like that. I might do this after this one's on because then I can just wrap the tape around. Oh yeah. I think, I think of how much to cut off with a chainsaw. <laughs> cut it off with a chainsaw? Uh-huh. So it's not in our way anymore? Uh-huh. Yeah. We'll be getting rid of this soon. Well, we're making progress and we're ready to reveal the new windows to you guys. This is the exciting part because we finally unwrapped one of our brand new windows and I think it looks cool. Do you like it? Yeah. Now we do have some shims in here, but don't judge our shim work. This is kind of temporary. We just have to figure out where the window's leveled. Our window openings are not square. They're not perfect. So we're gonna try to do our best to work with them. Okay. This side has to go up. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? I think so. We're using screws this time. For the first time, we've always used nails before to hang our windows, but we thought we'd try screws using a number eight kind of exterior grade, you know, uh, flat headed screw. These are two inches long. 
you just need a fastener long enough to penetrate an inch and a quarter into your studs. So if you have an inch and a quarter plus the half inch OSB, that'd be inch and three quarters. This is two inches, so this exceeds requirements. We got black casement windows with uh, the grills inset inside the glass just to be easier to clean and maintain them. It's looking really good. I'm impressed with them. We've never bought black windows before. It's a trend right now. I know we try not to go into trends and fads, but we just thought it was gonna work. We didn't want white. <laughs> yeah. And this gray stuff comes off. Yeah, this is just protector. Uh, I don't want to pop it off, but it'll just be black. We thought it'd be fun, since we were getting custom windows, to go ahead and do this kind of unique grill pattern that is, I guess, reminiscent of an old style house. I've seen this style before. Usually a double hung window, but we're kind of giving the illusion of a double hung. We have a split bar in the middle, and then the dividing lights only on the top. Let's go inside and look at it. Yeah, aside from the stickers, you guys can see the pattern there. I think this is gonna look really good when it's done, but let's look at the problem I had with this window. This wall was original and all I did was add wood to it to frame in the windows. This house has had problems and we're renovating it. So there's gonna be some issues that remain that we couldn't fix. One of them is this wall is skewed. The whole wall is skewed like, like it's just, it leans this way. I think what happened was the floor separated from the house and I tried my best to pull it back in when I was repairing the floor. And I got it as far as I could, but I couldn't get any further. But what happened was the floor moved away from the rest of the house. The roof stayed still, so all the studs were at a slight angle. And you can really see it. How tight the crack is right here. And then as we move up to the window, super wide up here almost probably half an inch over here. Super narrow on top, super wide on the bottom. Uh, the top and the bottom aren't too bad, maybe slightly off, but not too bad. Sometimes you just have to make do with what you have. And this wall is, uh, yeah, it's like this. And I mean, all the studs are like that evenly. And even this outside wall has that same lean and it corrects itself as it goes down the wall. So it's it's not the whole addition, it's only this wall. So I think it was, like I said, just a previous issue. Underneath, now, we have it all secured and solid, and nothing has moved since we fixed it. This wall is straight, everything else is straight. There's not much we can do at this point. So trim work is gonna cover all that. It'll be fine. No, it looks, it looks really close. Can you put a screw in the, in this side? Yep, got it? No. Um, go ahead. I guess we're gonna commit to this, say the windows are in, and we're gonna start taping these sides. Hold it out. Oops, a little wrinkle. Beautiful out, isn't it? Super. Perfect. Warm, beautiful. Is it going? Is it actually working? Mm hmm. <laughs> Slippery. Do the best they can. So 
it look okay? Yep. Then again, our windows are right under the eaves. Down until you get your siding on. Yeah. Once your siding goes on, it holds everything down. Maverick, do you want to check the mail with me? It's actually hard to believe, but we have our first windows in, and that feels amazing. And they look really good. They're all taped up. Exciting. So now let's move on and do the other ones. I think I'll do the other side of the house, the same windows as these. And we'll just see how many we can get done today, but wow. Do you guys like the windows? Okay, just finished up window number three. And this one's a little bit different because this is the bathroom window. We didn't get any dividing lights in there because it's a privacy glass. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a privacy glass. And I was actually not really sure if I should get the dividing lights in there or not because I didn't know how they'd look from the inside being kind of hazy. Man, I just couldn't decide, so we left it plain. But it still looks good. So as you can see, you really can't see out that window. It's a, uh, I don't know what that's called, but you guys get it. And that'll give us a lot of good light in the bathroom and it looks really good. Well, you guys get the point. I'm gonna go ahead, lift that up and get these other two windows done. I'll come back when I get those in. I completely forgot that was like that behind the tarp. Did you guys remember? We took out an old octagon window right there and I never got a chance to patch it up. So a little bit of delay, but we have to work on that first. Totally forgot about that. See if it fits in there and I'll 
I'll trim it to fit the opening. All right, I got it patched up using the OSB that I cut out of the other side, so that was handy. Problem is I need some house wrap and we threw it all out. We should have saved some of those scraps. We're gonna need more anyway, so I say we go to the store, pick up some things, and I'll grab some house wrap. We'll come back and work on those windows later. Hey Maverick, that's a really cool aquarium. Uh-huh. Did you make that? Yeah, Bob made the other stuff and I put the fish in there. Where'd you find those fish? In the deep pond. The pond? Yeah. And you caught those? Uh-huh, let's do that. Yesterday, while I was working on the windows, Maverick was catching fish in the pond and putting them in that little aquarium. That was pretty neat. Good job. Uh-huh. Our pond is actually loaded with fish, and not just little ones, bigger ones too. We don't know what they are, but there's a lot of fish in there, and it totally keeps down the mosquito larva. We've never seen mosquito larva in the pond, and we don't have a lot of mosquitoes. Mostly they come out of the woods, uh, under the underbrush and the puddles and the places that the fish can't get, but our pond is loaded with little fish. Mm-hmm. And something else. What did we see in the pond? We saw some crayfishes. And otters. Yeah. It's eating something. Well guys, there it is. Two more windows done, looking perfect. So happy with how these are coming out. These two windows gave me a lot of trouble, more than the other ones. And in the end, it wasn't that hard at all. Um, it was just the frame was a little bit skewed. I had to just shim it out better. So anyway, first of all, loving the screws. I have always used roofing nails before and the screws are making it so much easier to make sure I get it positioned right. Because on this win on both of these windows, I actually repositioned them. So I had them in where I thought I wanted them and I tacked them in with the screws, and then we realized that they weren't in line with each other. It wasn't even down the middle, so I had to unscrew them and reset them a little bit. So I'm really happy we went with screws. The flashing tape, I'm really happy with the system we're doing. I still have to tape these two windows. I haven't done that yet. You might notice that I'm not doing uh, sealant under the window flange. It's not really necessary. I didn't want to deal with the mess of the sealant. The tape, holds out the water. No water is gonna get past the tape and no water is gonna get past the flashing that we're gonna have over the window and everything else. So the uh, sealant, we're not gonna bother with. That's that, I'm gonna get these taped up and then we'll work on the front. We only have three more windows left to do. All right, we got our flashing tape done, creating that perfect seal to shed rain away from everything. The bottom doesn't get tape. It allows moisture to be able to escape if it is in there. And it will escape because we have this sill pan in. 
This middle tape is just a different style of tape that I bought. It's wider. I don't like it as much as this tape, but I used it because I have it and it's wide enough to span both windows. This tape right here, Protecto Wrap, Super Stick Building Tape, that is the best, by far, the best building tape for windows and doors. I love it, it it's amazing. This stuff, I mean, I could peel this up if I wanted to, you see? That's how typical tapes are. These, these don't peel. These are super stick. So I went ahead and took off all those caps. You'll notice now that the black edges are all showing and it looks really good, but we're gonna cover them up now and move on to the front. That was the last window we're doing today and the last window that we're doing in this video. We're gonna wrap it up now. We got a lot done. We got seven windows installed. Yeah. Now there's only one more to do and that is up on the gable end of our cathedral ceiling. So right up here in the middle. We're gonna wait and do that another day because I gotta unscrew the tarp and get the big ladder out. Hassle. But it's gonna match these windows and it's a long, short, or a wide short window. Mm -hmm. And it just has three dividing lights in it. So three sections. I like it. I was nervous when I was ordering the windows because I could have chose different patterns of that grill. And it was like, do I want it split at the top quarter, the top third or half? And then how many dividing lights? I think this is perfect. Perfect. Yeah. The half with the three looks nice and balanced. The black looks awesome. I hope it looks good with our finished house. Um, We've I, never done black windows before, so this is cool. Yeah, it was uh, it kind of forced upon us. We weren't going to do black, but it was just one of the few options in this uh, species of window. <laughs> species? <laughs> so uh. there was like white, ba like sand, black, green, red. We, yeah. we white or black was the only options and we just decided not to go white yeah we wanted to try something new yeah as you guys can see we got Jeldwin windows Jeldwin is a fine brand i'm not over the top impressed with the windows there are some minor flaws but they're nice windows they look good you know i can't seek perfection it's just it is what it is yeah but i mean they're good i can't like point out anything major to you guys i mean it's just a little little finishing details that you might think could have been done a little better. Mm -hmm. Awesome windows. They're casement windows, which means they're going to swing out. Not these. This is actually a fixed window. So the front ones are fixed, the ends, end ones open, and the end ones are casement windows with the crank. But uh, we'll show you all that. We'll do the hardware another day. Something that might come up is egress because it's a bedroom. We've had some comments before about the egress requirement for bedrooms where you have to have windows a certain size since we're doing casement windows we're almost at this size but we're not i don't think we're quite there because they count how far it swings open and they don't open like all the way yeah so it's like yeah they measure how big it opens yeah. too egress openings are kind of tricky but even though our windows aren't big enough don't worry because we pass by having a door a door is the ultimate egress so if you have a do like two doorways, then you don't have to have any openable windows. Keep that, that's something to keep in mind when you're designing or doing a renovation is yes, you need fire egress, fire escape, but two doors counts. You just have to have two openings, two ways in and out of your room. I don't know what else to say. We're happy the windows are going in. They look awesome. So that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye. So here's the two. Over here is the one we just installed. Looking good.
And here's the other side. Just trying to give you guys a look of the inside, but it's really hard because we're losing light, but you can see those panes and kind of get an idea of the style. It is always hard to show windows from the inside of a house on a camera because of the backlighting. I mean, obviously you can see it's dark in here, but it just messes up the camera. So we'll definitely try to show you during the day mm -hmm. when we're installing the hardware, you'll be able to see the windows close up. So stay tuned for that. That's all.